Would, would you describe yourself as a Beatles fan? Yeah, yeah. I mean, anyone that picks up a guitar, you got to be. Yeah. Because at some stages, sort of certainly in the seventies and to an extent the eighties, you, you almost had to reject the Beatles because the, the influence was overpowering. Yeah, know? yeah, totally. I mean, I can understand the reaction. You know, when sort of punk came along, I can understand why it was like, you know, sort of out, you know, everything that came before, you know, didn't exist. But sort of, you know, seeing seeing it now from from I am looking back, you know, it's just below them. The amount of tunes they wrote, I mean, in every member, it's just, yeah. can't, can't, you can't even get my head around it, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> what about the idea of the impact that they would have? Because it must be a dream in a way, the impact they had, because they were pretty much the first yeah. on the world itself, you know, literally everything, yeah, yeah. appearance, sound, you know, cultural, social, it's never going to happen again. <laughs> right? yeah. There's nothing will ever come close, I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's just one of those things, this mad moment in history, like a sort of meteor hitting Earth, you know, it's just, I mean, you can't, it wouldn't, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's hard to explain it. What kind of impact does it have on you forming a group? You know, in terms of, I mean, it's almost like they almost defined how a group should look in terms of, the, 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 you know what I mean, the consistency definitely, of the look. Definitely. And, you, and you have it, you know, your group has it. Yeah, you, you, you look like a group. You yeah, know, you're, you're a group of young guys that are clearly on a mission. And I know why that came from. I mean, others would have done it, but they did it first. Yeah, we've done press conferences. By no means, any, you know, but we, 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 you know, we try and copy. You, know, you take, you know, they had the banter and they, you know, they just, yeah. you know, being the American, you know, there's moments where you, get, you feel like the Beatles and potentially the Beatles in Japan, where it's very different sort of hysteria and you get running into cars and you sort of do yeah. the Beatles walk. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's true, they, they, I mean, uh, yeah, everything really. Because it was, it, was, it was the humor, wasn't it, as well, and where they came from. <laughs> oh, yeah. Folded it's into true. It. I mean, those early interviews are just so funny. I mean, John Lennon's just kills me. And he's, he's so dark, really. Yeah. I mean, he's such a yeah. dark, dark humor. I mean, he wrote some, you know, is it, uh, is it love? Um, yeah, and one of the most beautiful, perfect love songs, but also equally it's one of the most darkest people out there, you know. Choosing a Beatles song to cover, it's like, which one are you going to do? So why, did, why, why, why am I so tired? And it's just something we just picked up um, when we've been, been sort of, me, you know, in a band since I was 15. It's just one of those early ones we just kind of picked up on and just started playing in the bedroom. Yeah. You know, mum handed us cups of teas and just playing, you know, Beatles songs. That was kind of one that someone's love to sing, you know. And, and what is it like, you know, doing a Beatles song? Do you have to do it kind of almost differently or do you think, oh my god, we're going to do a Beatles song? Yeah, I mean, we, thinking about it now, I didn't realise, you know, it's, 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 it's quite silly, really. It's a big, 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 it's a